Well, another dramatic finish in this T20 series between England and Pakistan. And NASA Pakistan go up 3-2. And that final over had high drama. It did, considering it was a lad on debut in Jamal, 26-year-old, so he's been around a while, but not only was it his international debut, he'd never played a PSL game before, he'd played some feeder cricket, you know, 12 games of T20 cricket, so there's a lot of confidence in Baba Azam for him to deliver, and those wide Yorkers, four of the six wide Yorkers, he absolutely nailed against a batter in Moen Ali who was in supreme nick and belting it out the ground if he got it wrong. So he nailed, he absolutely nailed it, and Pakistan can always rely on their bowlers to defend a, a par score or score just below par. If conditions are similar in the last two games, what will England specifically need to do better, would you say? I just think in the run chase now, a couple of times, they've just been a little bit headless in the run chase. You know, today it was a below par score. There was a lot of dew this evening, a lot of dew. So they must have worked out that towards the end it was going to be more tricky for the spinners, more tricky for the seamers. Just make sure you don't give them the game early on. To lose three wickets in the power play um, was a mistake. And then they got a little bit done by spin, which is unusual for England. Last two or three years, they've belted spin brilliantly. But the Pakistan uh, spinners just had it on them in those middle overs. I thought Barber captained really well. He bowled his off spinners uh, to the two left-handers. Uh, and once you were behind, it's very difficult to catch up against this Pakistan side, as they saw in the last game. We spoke to Joss Butler during the game at the interval. He, he didn't seem that sort of forward in saying, yeah, I think I'll be ready for the next game. But at some point, he needs to play. He needs to get out there and captain and, and figure it out as opposed to just watching on the sidelines, get to know these guys on the field, doesn't he? I think so, with three weeks now to go to the World Cup. I mean, first of all, he's got to be fit. Sure. You know, there's plenty of time for him to go to Australia. There's warm-up games in Australia. You know, that's fine. But I think you do need to get what batters you have available. They don't have Stokes out there. They don't have Livingston. But the rest now have to be batting in positions they're going to be batting in that World Cup. If you asked Owen Morgan before the 50-over World Cup, the only thing, he didn't even have to decide who was going to play... He just had to decide who he was going to leave out for Joffre Archer. And it ended up being David Willey. You know, Joss Butler's still got some really important decisions to make about is it going to be him and Hales at the top of the order? Is it going to be seven batters with Livingston or Ali at seven or six and the extra bowler? Who's batting in what position? I'd absolutely have Brooke at five. If you can now, Joss Butler, if you're fit, get in the side, play and get that batting lineup clicking because... Um, I thought they bowled brilliantly. Mark Wood was exceptional. Mm. I thought they fielded well. Um, they've got Wokes back in. He'll be better for the run out today. But in the batting in the last couple of games, they haven't quite got it right, but no need to panic at all. OK, Nas, thanks very much indeed. Pakistan then, 3-2 up, and we have two games to go. They're both going to be in Lahore. We'll see if the dew has a factor in both games on Friday and on Sunday. So next game, Friday, 3 o'clock, Sky Sports Cricket.